By the way, is Mia Khalifa a fucking Frogan head? Because, like, I feel like this popped off after the Frogan shit, right? Like, this was, like, going viral on fucking uh, Twitter. So, here's the thing. There's a way to communicate this, and there's a way not to communicate it. And, like, the thing is, especially if you're, like, visibly brown, you know, it, good luck. It, like, you will never be able to say anything about veterans that people will, like, uh, treat with any sort of seriousness. But in my experience as the number one uh, anti veteran 9-11 lover according to all of my haters um the appropriate way to communicate this sort of thing is not necessarily to be like i hope you get ptsd okay but instead to talk about how little americans give a fuck about veterans because that is the truth i'm sorry that's the truth okay and there are plenty of active duty motherfuckers in here right now and they know that reality there's plenty of fucking veterans in this goddamn community that know that reality you know you gotta optically change the way that you uh talk about this stuff because if you don't then every single fake veteran enjoyer fake veteran respecter is gonna be all up in your fucking dms be all up in your replies being like how dare you you fucking bitch i hope you go die you're brown you're i hope veterans kill you <laughs> it's like the thing is the thing is they're sending your ass out there not to defend American free speech or whatever the fuck they're sending you out there because someone's making money and virtually every single active duty and veteran kind of gets that unless they're the dumbest hogs of all time you know and there's plenty of them as well uh, usually in the Marine Corps <laughs> but it, most people kind of understand it so at that point I think the best possible thing to do is to say no one should have to sign their fucking life away to the defense department so that some fucking Raytheon executive can uh, turn a tidy profit so that the shareholders can get, uh, you know, marginally better returns on their fucking investment every goddamn quarter while you get your shit blown off. You get your dick shot off protecting a goddamn poppy field so the CIA can have a funding operation for themselves. Okay? And then you come back here and all the promises that the American government told you turn out to be a lie. Okay? The problem we're having in Vetland lately is the Pago shit impacting benefits is fucked. Yeah. I'm sorry. I will never, you will never catch me being like, oh, dude, yeah, uh, thank you for your service so much, sir. Like, fuck that, okay? You're a human being. I'm a human being. I'm going to treat you like a goddamn adult, okay? You made a decision due to your financial circumstances or because your entire family is uh, veterans and you had no other opportunity. You were like, this is the only thing I know, okay? That's most of the fucking military. It's either the poverty draft, uh, some of the most, like, exploited fucking people of all time, or uh, you're escaping your circumstances or you're from a military family. That's it. That is like what comprises or you're an officer, which is, you know, and you're a freak and you're going to go to politics eventually. And I despise you. But that's besides the point. That's not. That's a totally separate subject. We're not going to get into that. We're not going to talk about, you know, uh, all the rich kids that uh, get uh, get into the officers program and then you know, uh, and, and then inevitably become, uh, Yale law graduates that run for Congress. <clears throat> the point is the American government doesn't give a shit about any of you. Okay. The American government does not give a shit about any of you. They care about profits. They care about the military industrial complex. So that's why I always urge people to look for alternative sources of income and not to go and serve in the military because you're going to get fucked up 
no matter what you do, you are going to get fucked up. You get fucked up at basic, okay? You will get fucked up even during basic training. You will get PTSD. You can have uh, tinnitus. You can have a litany of different complications, some of which, if you are very lucky or very unlucky, will be paid for by the VA, okay? You either have to be super lucky to get 100% uh, disability or super unlucky, okay? And nothing in between. So, ultimately, it's not a good fucking avenue for, for gainful employment down the line. Why is it not a good avenue? Well, or why does it still exist? Well, because we need to keep extracting natural resources from the global south. We need to fucking maintain a militant presence everywhere around the world. 800 military bases, yada, yada, yada. We have to have these defense contracts that uh, improve our domestic manufacturing, our output somehow. And someone's got to use those guns. Ultimately, ultimately, if you do that... You can go serve thinking that you're maybe protecting and serving the nation and protecting fucking freedom of speech by, uh, I don't know, fucking uh, door knocking or, or, or breaking into the fucking houses of like random Afghan villagers or, you know, directly calling uh, air support on top of an Afghan village full of uh, civilians, okay, in an effort to protect America. And then that shit fucks you up and then you come back. And now you're four years behind everybody else. So you can get that same fucking communications degree that everybody else got and get, uh, you know, and, and suck dick in the awful dog shit jobs market with your dog shit fucking degree that everyone else got before you. But now on top of that, you also have PTSD and the motherfucking government is barely fucking helping you. Okay. It sucks. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't dog a calm degree, big dog. But that's it. That's usually what it is. That's usually what the fuck this is. It's always how it works. Okay. 7,000 soldiers died in combat in Iraq and Afghanistan combined. 130,000 plus veterans died by suicide since 9-11. 22 a day was the number. I believe it's a little bit lower now. But still. It sucks. It fucking sucks. Okay. Okay. I will always be respectful for people that, uh, due to a litany of different circumstances and social conditioning for the wrong reasons, right reasons, whatever, uh, joined the, uh, sold their soul to the American government and did most likely some heinous shit or at least participated in heinous shit happening, uh, globally. Okay. And then were conflicted by their service and, now very clearly and very deliberately say don't do it it's not a great idea i'll always have endless respect for you but if you're a hog i'm going to treat you like a hog regardless okay you're talking infantry and combat support you can get contract to be a dental technician how is it bad for someone of limited means that's why i said you can also literally there's a shit ton of parts in the military that 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 have nothing to do with combat whatsoever you're like at the end of the day uh, offering like logistical support for people doing the bad shit. Okay? But one thing remains clear. If these social safety nets, including healthcare, were universally provided to every citizen unconditionally, something that every other OECD nation offers, if there was a mechanism of upward social mobility in the form of higher education that is also at cost, free, or literally paid, like some, or if not all, of the other OECD nations offer unconditionally to every single citizen, ain't nobody will be joining the fucking military. Or at least the recruitment numbers are already down. But it would be even for it would be even worse. Okay. That's the reality. Ugh. <sighs> But yeah, you got to be, you can't, you know, you got to be careful with the way that you uh, communicate these sorts of things. Because if you don't say it in a careful manner, people will immediately, 
People love acting like they give a single solitary shit about the military and the veterans. They, it's their favorite thing. Their favorite thing is to be like, how dare you? Uh, they protected and served, sir. How dare you? Ah, oh, I fucking love the veterans. Like, no, you don't, dude. You spit on them when you see them uh, as like homeless people in the corner of your fucking eye, okay? You don't give a fuck. Nobody cares. They don't. Many people don't care. They just like to act like they care by saying thank you for your service. I think it's fucking bullshit. I think it's bullshit. I'd much rather be honest with every single veteran and every single active duty person that I talk to, okay? That's it. The Safety and stability afforded to all Americans by the U.S. military. Yeah, that's right. It has nothing to do... <laughs> it has nothing to do with our geopolitical positioning and everything to do with, like, our military. Be clear, you calling our military members a hog? Wait, what? Yes. Do you not... Ha, dude, this, won't, this dude won't let you clip. Wait, wait, wait. You think that there aren't hogs that are veterans? Of course there are. What the fuck are you talking about? Talk to a literal... Talk to any veteran and they will be the first to tell you that yes, just like every other fucking aspect of life in America, there are hogs in the military and that there are smart people in the military too. The fuck are you talking about? See, this is what I mean. This like, this is fake reverence, okay? You are offering fake fucking reverence. Like you're offering this fake bullshit. You're like, what? How dare you? No, what, what, are, you, what are you talking about? You were going to tell me that there aren't fucking hogs that that serve and then, you know, become even more hog-like? The fuck? The fuck are you talking about? What is this? What is this bullshit? Be clear. You're calling our military members a hog. First of all, put some respect on it. You're disrespecting a Korea veteran, okay? That's right. Put some fucking respect on it. Soldier, I did not see your salute hand go up. You will properly address your ranking officer with the dignity that he deserves. You are talking to a U.S. military Korea veteran. Now drop it, give me 50. Florida man, 850. This guy's pretending he doesn't know what you mean by hog so we can clip to others that don't know what hog means in this context. Yeah, there are like the military is no different than any other fucking aspect of American culture. Yes, some people are dumbasses that are in the military and some people are smart. What do you mean? They unfollowed. Yeah, they I think that their goal here was to try and get a clip, <laughs> which is really funny. That's one opinion chat. That's not always the case. Did you just call our military a hog? Say it loud and clear. With what you mean, ha, this dude won't let you clip his own words. Be clear, do you just call our military a hog? <laughs> no, I didn't say all of the military are hogs. I just said the military is no different than anything else. There are hogs everywhere for all for those with eyes to see. I'm a vet and openly say fuck the military. The only time I really talk about my service is the milk dumbass veteran hawks for bigger tips when I'm bartending. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Sometimes it sucks being a veteran and a fan of yours and it uh, feels alienating sometimes. What do you mean? I like I, I have said a fuck ton of shit about specific veterans as you might know or maybe you don't. Okay. Let's not bring that up right now. But having said that, I'm always honest. This isn't like, I'm not one of those. There are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of leftists out there that are like, oh yeah, I'm the troop exploder. You know what I mean? Fuck the military. Fuck the veterans. Like, no, I get it. You know, I, I, I get why people join. I have a lot of fucking veteran friends. Oh, far before I ever started uh, far before I ever started uh, uh, doing political commentary. So I understand the context in which people go and serve in the military. People escaping homelessness. People escaping fucking drugs. Okay? 
a lot of it is the poverty draft. A lot of it is like uh, lower middle income uh, class individuals that come from like shitty backgrounds that are just like, oh, maybe this will give me an opportunity to get fucking upward social mobility by getting higher education. You know? Yeah, which way military man and his pictures of Mike Preisner or uh, Chris Kyle? Yes. So... Uh, so Mia Khalifa said this. Chris Cappy responded. Thank you, Mia, for using your platform to bring awareness of the broken mental health system for American veterans. I say she ain't wrong. America does not give a shit about its veterans unless they want to talk about immigrants when they love remembering that there are homeless vets. Chris responded with, America does more for its vets than any other country. 5% of the entire U.S. budget, $300 billion is veterans' benefits. I'm a veteran of Iraq. I'm able to get mental health whenever I need at the VA. But it's not perfect. Suicide is still a huge problem. Glad we're shining a light on it. So I, I think Chris is a pretty funny dude overall. I don't always agree with him. And I think he's like uh, definitely has like hog-like tendencies every now and then. Um, but, you know, as a content creator, he's fine. The thing is... Um, the thing is, he's right. Like as far as the, uh, as far as the suicide situation, it's like, it's insane. Now, the problem here is that a lot of the benefits that veterans get, people get for free without having to serve in other countries, you know? And my argument always is we should do that. That's like kind of my main thing. My main thing is you shouldn't have to get PTSD or fuck your body up during basic training even to be able to arrive at a crumb of these fucking benefits. You know? As a veteran with benefits, yes, that point sucks to deal with every day. It feels like you get lumped in with the hogs automatically, I guess. No, I don't do that at all. I'm not I'm not of this mindset at all that like all veterans are automatically hogs. I've never said that and I don't believe that. There are, however, hog-like veterans, as most veterans will be the first to tell you. <laughs> not some not some of the best and brightest. <laughs> you know. Anyway, so another chatter made a great point saying we don't treat them better. We just have way more vets than others. Yes. And the VA structure is also designed as like one of the only uh, nationalized healthcare uh, structures in this country. And it's really devastating because you have no leverage like insurance normally works with leverage you need to have healthy people pay into the program so that the unhealthy people can take out of the program but all veterans need health care like like really devastating versions uh, <laughs> like the really crazy amounts of health care like non-stop and that number is constantly fucking growing. The number of veterans that need healthcare is constantly fucking growing. It's the worst part of... This is the worst fucking process of all time, which is why many Republicans have tried to privatize the VA over and over again. I saw this license plate. Uh, at the gas station recently and had to wait till he came out to salute him. Granada conflict veteran. <laughs> that's, that's my goat. I have never met, in my experience, I have never met a single veteran ever that has been like, yeah, nah, shit is sweet. The VA is dope. <laughs> And there are very good reasons for that, okay? Like, even if people are like, it's good for me, they will immediately tell you it's fucking dog shit for everybody else. Okay? That's it. 